Hello everyone, Sunton Doctor 2, and welcome to another mod overview. This time on Make Clay Valuable Again, a mod that adds the ability for you to use clay tools, but in doing so, it also changes the progression system. So, stone is not exactly so accessible as it seems. So, if I just go with, say, a pick for example, just in a search, the wood version can still make it with planks and sticks. When it comes to a stone pickaxe, there is no recipe, because clay ones obviously take place of that. Now, obviously you can make clay balls, you can obviously use other methods to get clay from other mods, it's all good, but there is no stone tools, they're completely removed. So, you'll be using clay tools in place of stone ones. Clay blocks will not drop anything unless they are broken with, the corresponding one, so you may need to use wooden tools for quite a while as well. Iron, I'm pretty sure the recipe hasn't changed, nope. So you may have to just go about things such as villages, or just using wooden tools for a lot longer than usual, making this more so, instead of just a um, clay tools mod, it is also kind of a hardcore survival in a way, or progression changing type of mod. Um, obviously stone tools are not obtainable, Clay is dropped by wither skeletons, so you'll mostly have to go to the nether to do that. I don't think they spawn in the overworld with this mod. And obviously, once they're defeated, you'll have a 10% chance of a single <laughs> clay ball dropping. So clay balls being used for clay tools ends up making it where you're not exactly, I guess, making wither type tools, um, but uh, more so in the change in the progression a lot more, so it's kind of like a need for the nether is um, more important than obviously just getting stone and certain other mods that kind of rework things, um, although this takes it quite a bit further. Um, like a Tizen Craft for example, where you take quite a bit before you can actually get to a 3x3 crafting table, you end up sticking with the 2x2 two two for quite a while. Either way though, Killing a skeleton will obviously result in the, your weapon instantly breaking. So I actually use a wooden sword and a stone one, even though they don't exist in this mod. And we'll get a few skeletons. Um, and some other skeletons as well. we'll change our difficulty to normal. And upon doing so, so nothing there. So we've got a with skeleton spawning from a regular skeleton, so that may also be possible as well. Hopefully I can survive this. Okay, so any sword will definitely break, and there's a chance of a alternate with a skeleton spawning. So you may have it where you probably get it from them, or you may have it where you more so get it from a regular with a skeleton. Um, that and also probably the need to use an axe to defeat them rather than a sword is a more likely option. So we'll try with this stone sword here. So it only just seems to be with regular skeletons that your sword breaks. We'll try with an axe, we'll try with a clay axe here. Okay, so anything will break with it, it seems. Okay. So, best to probably use wooden ones or something else as much as possible. And I did get some other things. Okay, good to know. Um, but yeah, most likely I would assume it's from regular with skeletons, but if likely, probably search for regular skeletons that spawn a with a skeleton to take advantage of that. And finally, killing a wither or ender dragon will always drop one clay ball. Besides, it's um, nether star, obviously, or just lots of experience. Um, so yeah, and the effort you actually are going for, and the benefits you get from clay tools, is obviously I can't find it there. Uh, tools that are pretty much the equivalent to stone in terms of durability and attack damage. So, quite a bit of effort just to go about getting clay, so you might just want to search for a village that most likely has 
iron in it, or iron tools already, um, or just automatically, uh, or use, I guess, other methods, like another type of bucket, like a clay one, for example, um, or wooden, or some others that do allow options besides iron from other mods to actually possibly um, go about getting things if you can't get clay tools, or if you just want to sort of skip ahead in a way. But it depends. If you want this sort of progression, or you want to use it for the clay tools themselves, you do have more use for the mod uh, to use however you will. Otherwise though, thanks so much for watching, and goodbye.